You all right? Hello, are you all right? So we've got uh, all the water parks to our left, the top lake. And you're absolutely right, Tracy. It is much cooler today. Uh, but the surprisingly the car park is full at uh, Oral Water Park today. There's quite a lot of uh, people turned up for a walk around the place, I suppose. A lot more activity than there has been over the past few weeks. Oh, a dog's just jumped in. So we might bump into a few people on, on the way around. James says it's perfect walking weather. Every day is perfect walking weather. About, but you're absolutely right. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. There's a black, black Labrador who's just jumped in the water over there. He's absolutely soaked, loving him, enjoying himself. <laughs> There's a few people on the group who've said before when we've been up here that they've never been to Oral Water Park before, so somewhere you, uh, you can have a nice little walk and circular walk. There's a few little features along the way, little waterfalls and things like that. Oh, I forgot the view. There's the view down the top water. Oh, a dog's just jumped in again, look. But he's cold. I won't be doing that for you today, unfortunately, guys. So this is Green Slate Water Meadows now. Which backs onto Green Slate Farm. And they've got bats, birds, voles, frogs, and insects, as you can see. When that wind gets up though, it's, it is a bit nippy. Got the trusty old jacket on today. Uh, but as I said, we'll uh, try and get around to somewhere like um, Longshore and higher end of Billinge. There's a nice road I want to walk down afterwards, so we'll stay tuned for that. There's quite a lot of bird life in the back of the woods, uh, behind the top lake. As you'll probably hear on the microphone, lots of bird song at the moment. And there's uh, a bird hide, or a human hide, I suppose, where you can watch the birds feed them. Just on the right down here where the families usually stop. Let's see if we can see anything. See if anything's feeding. Not much there today, I don't think. That looks cool. Need one of them. So as I said, you can make this a circular walk. Um, you can get around a few, a few different paths. 
Hello. Dogs coming up. Hello. Give a couple of shout outs. How are we doing, James? Katie, how are you doing? Elaine, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, Tracy, Emma, uh, Matthew, uh, Ian, how are you doing, Ian? Frank and Linda, Kim, Thomas. Uh, Matthew says, how do you keep the camera so still? Lol. I'm a professional cameraman. Uh, so, I, I know how to hold this thing steady. Uh, I use a, a gimbal, which uh, means, well you can't see that, but I'm, I'm wiggling the whole contraption and it kind of stays level. So um, It's a nice little contraption. I've got three of these, a small one, medium sized one and a really big one. Um, is there a technical name for it? Yes, there is. It's a gimbal. A stabilising gimbal. I'll send you a picture of it after. So, uh, we're heading up the, uh, the right-hand side path of the loop. Oh, a little couple of birds there. I want to play in the tree. It flew right into me. Uh, Emma's laughing, so I'm only guessing. All oh, right, okay, you're laughing at Gimbal and Dead Cat. Okay, all technical names these. I thought you were laughing at when I said I'm I'm wiggling right now, <laughs> which, uh, for all intents and purposes, was a description of how I'm holding the camera. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Afternoon. So as I said, there's a couple of tracks you can take, there's a couple of bridges here and there that you can cross and go in between. There's one of them. But uh, as you head away from the top lake, we're sticking to the right hand side paths for this walk. Left and right option, we're going to go right again. How are we doing, Daniel? Hello, Carol. Thanks for joining us. Uh, by the way, in here, there's a style you can go in here. Uh, in fact, I'll take you in. You can have a look. This is part of the uh, green slate community farm but yeah, you're allowed in this little section uh, I don't know what it's like I've not been up for it or up here for a while but there are actually some ponds it looks like they're uh, all grown over now but this is what you'll find 
and lots of frogs. Frog spawn at this time of year. Uh, and all that is uh, another little reservoir as part of the, the Green Slate community farm, which is just up there. Where they've got uh, animals, horses. Uh, I think we've got a couple of pigs. I'm trying to work my way out of here rather than going back. So if I get stuck, I might have to climb over. It looks like I might have to. Give it a go. Straight over the top, no I'm done. Okay, we're back on the path. So it looks like they've made some improvements to some of the bridges. You can see that's a new bridge just through the trees there. So you can cross over onto the back field and walk that way. Uh, there uh, seems to be quite a lot of improvements being made over the past few years which is good and the stream's flowing well I hope I think James might need to come down here and sort out some of these dams our resident uh, beaver <laughs> Get that flowing, James. What do you think? So this uh, this flows into uh, the top pond or the top lake or reservoir, which then flows into the bottom reservoir, which then flows into Smithy Brook that runs all the way through the heart of Winstonley and onto the River Duggy. Buster. Hi Kim, how you doing? Uh, Matthew says it's been open a week now. That's Belton. Might have to call in for a brew, eh? Yeah, James was uh, at it this morning, he sent me a message at about half past seven to say that uh, unfortunately some of his hard work had been uh, tarnished by somebody putting all the uh, stones and uh, big logs that have been dumped in the uh, smithy brook causing it to back up and um, stop the flow. Um, they've unfortunately found, found their way back in within a matter of days, so James has uh, once again kindly been up there and sorted it all out, so good on you James. Let's hope it stays the same. Lots of little birds just flying around the place, brilliant. Just right in front of you. Probably too fast for the camera to pick up. Right, so we are now out of the woods. And as you can see, there's some uh, bridge been made there. Usually I would uh, stop at the top of that hill in reverse, so uh, taking the, the field option and then uh, going back towards the reservoirs and not cross this bridge. So for the first time, I've never been up this way, I'm going to be uh, going up the hill towards Longshore and then uh, over to Higher End which is to the right 
of the main road. Hi, are you all right? A happy dog there. There's some big old trees here too, look at these. Nice little spot this. This little thing. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> Ooh, right, okay, so I've got two options left or right. I think left will take me down into the field towards uh, Longshore Central, if it has a centre. Uh, but we want to go right. We're not actually going to go into Longshore, so to speak. Uh, but that's definitely a path that I'll take another time. Looks like there's a cut through there. So we could have we could have gone into the woods uh, and come out halfway up the path. Handy to know. What are you guys talking about now? Let's have a look. He's a good egg, James Ormby. I do have an egghead. <laughs> well, that as well. Belt. Good bants. Oh, now then. So this must lead back down the side of the new houses. This looks like a, an original old iron gate or fence rather. It's quite rusty and old. You'd never know this path was here unless you came up it, because you've probably driven past it a few times before. It's just a tiny little entrance. By the looks of things. Ooh, and there we go. So there's uh, that's the park over there, and this is where. Hospital used to be on the right down there. We'll cross over. A typical building, it's uh, a little bit windy and there's a little bit of moisture in the air. So, Longshore itself kind of stops. Uh, just on the right, in a little minute, becomes higher end. Says a amazing original fence to the nurses' college. 
still standing. Absolutely. Kim says looks very narrow. It is quite narrow. Uh, probably not enough to get uh, a big buggy up there or a pram. Uh, but a regular size shouldn't be a problem. Lisa Capstick says uh, we went to the water park on Monday it's lovely and nice to see how to walk it thank you no problem uh, we have done uh, a full walk a circular walk around both lakes uh, and the top wood um, so if you jump onto our website which is winstanleywalks.co.uk you can have a look at the previous walks we've done, I think it was maybe between walk 10 and 15, something like that, we went to our water park uh, and did that, so you can have a look at that one. Uh, this one takes you out of the water park uh, and onto the main road. So I'm guessing that's the site of the old nurses college there. And if that's still part of the original uh, fence line, which it looks like it is because it's, it's that old wrought iron look uh, to that metal fence. fence. ago the scene of a, uh, a tragedy which we won't talk about but, um, a few weeks ago you would, would have remembered in the news um, some tragic events happened up here uh, which is such a shame but we, uh, we must continue uh, to go outside and visit these places so just outside Bispam Methodist Church, uh, Bispam Hall, which I remember going to as a kid, uh, not to stay there but to drop somebody off because uh, I was too young to stay over, is uh, in those trees in the background. Um, I don't know what's inside there, I've not been in for a long time like I say, but uh, if Bispam Hall still exists let us know, you know. Uh, to contribute on the group. We've always shone a little bit of light on things that we, uh, we don't know. So that's how James got involved first. Uh, started to share a bit some bats about the history. Uh, and now look at him. He's got his own little series going. Watch out for Nelly. <laughs> Is she still up there? Bill Kenyon. Forgive, forgive me for my ignorance. Who's Bill Kenyon? As Laura's asking, uh, does he live in Bispam Hall? Just going past the new estate, Hartley Way. Uh, my dad built some of these houses. So if you live in them, I'm sorry if there's any, uh, any bad brickwork. My apologies on behalf of my dad.
that's a way to get about, isn't it? Look at that. I think uh, Winstanley Rolls uh, should be set up and we could do some sc scooter tracks. Imagine a dinosaur on that, that'd be awesome. Thanks for filling us in, Laura, a local millionaire who owns Holland Hall too. Um, took it over about 18 months ago. It's funny you should say that, I was doing some photography up there. Just let the traffic go past. Yeah, I was doing some, uh, uh, some photography on uh, Holland Hall. Uh, before Christmas and uh, I was helping the chef the head chef, I can't remember his name but he gave me a bit of a tour as to some of the improvements that they're making at Holland Hall so I might be able to show you them at some point so now we're going down uh, Moss Road um, Moss Road is uh, a place where my grandparents uh, moved to when they uh, got married. So they lived on Moss Road for a while and then they moved to uh, Sycamore Drive. So we'll go past all their old house but up until about three years ago I'd never been down this road and my granddad took me down. Well I took him down actually, he wasn't well enough to drive. But I took him down memory lane and uh, he pointed out where he used to live. Uh, nice to see. So we'll head down. I thought it's a nice little road this, single track road. So I thought I'd share it with you today. Looks like they've got a little mascot going on. Uh, super bear. Or su super monkey, maybe. That's pretty cool. Right, so that's Tracks Lane to the right. And if you go down there, you'll end up seeing Green Slate Farm. And this is Moss Road here. Some really nice original cottages along the way here. Some very pretty gardens. Things that you'd find out in the countryside rather than at the back of the reses. So this is the top part of uh, the road but it's a little bit tighter and more of a single track road further down. You can see some uh, original old stone houses and you can hear all the birds in the gardens, they're quite lively.
Cross Lane down there. Little cul de sac. Look at that, pretty as a picture. So you've got Doric Green on the left, which looks like a new housing development, newish, and uh, Moss Avenue on your right. But I think this is like the original end, down this way. So uh, to my right is Hawthorne Place, which is uh, a residential building obviously, but it says built in 1869, uh, all original brickwork and you can see the side of the walls are huge, all original brickwork. Uh, to the left is the Croft, which again looked like a newer development. That little house there on the corner was uh, my grandma and granddad's house before they moved to Sycamore Drive. That looks like a really big manor house on the right. Again, probably. Uh, built when the rest of these houses were put together. <laughs> Look at that guy up there. You can see him. <laughs> That's belting. Yeah, lovely little street to live on this. And at the bottom of the road you've got the reses. Blossom blossoms been blown off over the past few days from the rhododendrons. A few bits still on. A lot of these houses seem to have names on them as well rather than just numbers. That's a nice little house there too. Green Slate Villa. Monster's house. <laughs> Should we nip over to Greenslate while we're here? I wasn't planning to, but bob in and say hello. We could dress you up as in uh, at Halloween, James, if you're interested, and you could be Uncle Fester. <laughs> what do you think of that?
So uh, just to get your bearings again, uh, behind that wall there is uh, the top lake of all the reservoir. And we're just walking up Green Slate Road. We've come down Moss Road, which was uh, one of the features of today's walk. Uncle James Fester. <laughs> well done, Kim. So Laura Lowe says, I'm from Oral originally, so it's nice to see all of this too. Moved to Winstanley when I married my husband. Well, you're, you're always welcome back to Oral. You know, I don't think, uh, I think they'll let you back in. But I, I understand what you're saying. You don't see as much of it now. <laughs> James. Yeah, Uncle Fester or a beaver. I'm dying to get that beaver for beaver costume. I have been looking. Too far away now, just a couple of hundred yards up the road, and we'll get to Green Slate Farm. That's a grand old house on the right there. Look at that! A beautiful building, big yellow door on it, big trees, and everything. Nice. Watch out, beavers about. <laughs> Oh. We'll have to do that as a <laughs> I'm just I'm having uh, I'm having thoughts here now, James. Uh, with reference to watch out BB's about and we could uh Play pranks on local residents. Are you dressed up as a beaver? <laughs> if it raises money for the NHS, works for me. So we've just come into the bottom of uh, Tracks Lane and the top of Green Slate Road. We'll just head over and have a look at the place. Ice creams for sale between 12 and 2. Okay, it says the farm remains closed to the public, however the farm shop is open Monday to Friday 12 till 2. Therefore access to the car park and shops is allowed during this time only. Thank you for your support. Fair enough. So we can't go in yet, but it is open between 12 and 2, uh, the shop that is. Uh, so you can get onto the car park uh, for that reason. But uh, Green Slates Farm, there's the sign. Between 12 and 2, if you want a nice lolly or something, or some shopping, you can get it from there. Okay, guys. All right, well, that's uh, that's me done walking for, for now. Uh, outside Green Slate Farm. Uh, we've done a bit of a bit of a loop of a walk, uh, but we'll call it a day for now. Okay, guys, we'll see you again tomorrow for another walk. Keep an eye on tonight's updates. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.